is John Paul Ryan coming to you from Tokyo, Japan, talking about Tori Spelling ripped for charging fans $95 for virtual meet and greet. Now I gotta admit something. I was a pretty bad kid. I did a lot of terrible things. But I also once in a while watched the show 90210, which starred Tori Spelling, among, of course, some other actors you guys might know from the 90s. But the thing is, the thing that always irritated me about Tori Spelling is that she kind of got a free ride into that show because Aaron Spelling, her father, owned the show, owned the TV station, something like that. He was a big shot in Hollywood and he just got her the part. But I never knew so much about Tori Spelling as a person. Well, it appears she's done some sketchy things. So, this thing here, it's not the worst. But she was involved in a legal suit that apparently she lost. So let's take a look at a little more. Tori Spelling is trying to make some extra cash by charging $95 for a meet and greet and fans are not having it. So basically, she wanted to charge people $95 for them to watch her take some selfies of herself. I thought like she was mega rich. I mean, I know they had the fortune in the 90s, but... That kind of money doesn't just disappear. So I'm a little kind of confused why she'd even have this thing in the first place. The actress promoted her first ever virtual meet and greet on social media. She told her fans there were only 20 spots available where she will be taking virtual selfies. The price to join Tori in the online event is $95. And that's another thing. Only 20 spots? Like how much is two grand to her? doesn't seem like a lot. It's even less than two grand with a full roster there. Tori wrote, can't wait to do my first ever virtual meet and greet Thursday, April 9th at 5 p.m. Only 20 spots available, so reserve your spot now. Link in my bio, XOXO, hugs and kisses. I guess that means, all right, that was a really dry in your face invite there with the time and the date. Get your seats now. Little cringy guys. She included a link to the website for a company named Looped, which hosts virtual meet and greets for celebrities. Looped described itself as a platform where you video chat live with your favorite talent. That includes musicians, actors, athletes, influencers, politicians, gamers. They don't say YouTubers, but okay. And more. Anytime and anywhere in the world. Live, one-on-one, -on -one, two-way conversations that lead to real connections. Real connection? <laughs> okay. So you're going to make a real connection with Tori Spelling, guys, for 95 bucks, And after that, she's going to forget who the hell you are. I made that up, but I'm just assuming she will. So here's the court case, which she apparently lost. As The Blast previously reported, Tori is currently battling a $90,000 court judgment. She reportedly refuses to pay on a debt owed to American Express Bank. According to The Sun, American Express Bank recently made moves in court to collect on the money owed by Tory and her husband, Dean McDermott. So, if they made a move to collect the money, I'm assuming, you know, the judge ruled that they can collect it. Back in 2016, American Express sued Tory over an unpaid credit card bill. Tory blew off the lawsuit and a judgment was entered in the amount of $87,000, basically. 87.5. American Express is now trying to seize property and assets owned by Tori and Dean. So, if she skipped out in the court case, I'm assuming they have to give the win to the other side. I mean, if it's just an unpaid American Express bill, I don't see how she could dispute that. Except, well, I just don't really feel like paying it. So that's not so cool. Going back to me and my 90210 days, if you don't know what that is, it was kind of like a teenage show that people watched in the 90s. It was really huge when it first came out, but obviously, this is my opinion, and you guys, maybe who are following me for the Johnny Depp case, who are listening now, could tell me what you think of Tori Spelling. Maybe you've seen the show, and uh, it was cheesy. I mean, I laughed at some of it, and I guess I just watched it so I knew what the hell everyone was talking about in school, you know, on Monday or whatever. Because pretty much every single girl I knew watched the show. So I figured, alright, what the hell? But, like I said, I never liked Donna. I never liked Tori Spelling. But I never had a reason to not like her as a person. But this stuff sounds like 
you know, pretty cringy. I'm not saying, like, I'm out to hate people. I don't hate her now. I don't think she's, like, this horrible person like Amber Heard or Kathleen Kennedy or Brie Larson or something. But if I say, you know, she's not so good looking, maybe I feel a little better because on the inside looks like she's got some sketchy things going on. So, you guys, let me know what you think about this down below. I'm doing shoutouts, special thanks, things like that. Giving a shout out to Rolls Rants. He's probably doing like four or five videos a day or something because I think he's just sitting home. But he said his animals get in the way, but they don't. Kids get in the way of doing videos. They talk. They need things. Animals you could like at least ignore until you're done filming. Anyway, there's my rant on Rhodes Rants. If you're not subscribed here, smash that subscribe button. I'm doing shout outs like I just did. Special thanks. Johnny Depp. Amber Heard. Even some sci-fi, Star Wars. Yeah, we're done. <laughs>